genitals in his breeches continue to be unnoteworthy. You see the penis of a dead man. Okay. If you've seen it once, you've already got the picture. Can't get enough of that dick. Do you think we missed something? Yes. There's something we're, There's something not, we're seen. not seen. Okay, well, we are in leave of Mortis here. He is disintegrating. We need to refrigerate the body if we want to conduct another examination. And we need to do it fast. Where do we find, we find a, fridge? a fridge? It would have to be industrial in size. Let's start by asking Gart at the Whirling in Rags and the Fritz store down at the gates. If they don't know, but only if all else fails. All right. Well. Fuck are you looking at, Beano man? You want a piece of the Kuno? Wanna get fucked? Only if all else fails. Hmm. Kuno looks like he gets around. Knows Martinez. And it's frigid, <laughs> too, them. probably. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. This is one task we cannot sideline. With every hour, whatever we are looking right. for will become harder to find. Okay, so we got Kuno. Lonesome. Long way home. Oh. Here we go. Home awaits. Walk past Station 41 and through the market. Past the Boogie Street spearhead to the other side of the lake. Hey, the, the frozen video? eye at the center of the district. Then past the video rental store on the corner. There, at the end of a street lined with pine trees. A small house, no larger than a matchbox. 11 Voyager Road. You no longer live there. Those times are gone. And so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? You have to get back to work. That's all you have now. Learning cap for perception, race to five. Speed gives one sigh. Speed? Probably the drug speed. Oh! Ace is low. For the rest of the world, the Aces Low is just some cool Revachol thing, politically neutral. In Revachol, it still holds revolutionary connotations. Also, have you looked at Lieutenant Kitsuragi's clothes? He wears a bomber jacket, so just smoke. like the ones worn by aerostatic brigades. And those cargo pants look like they could fit tools for hot fixing your burning aerostatic. You should ask him about this. Hmm. Probably later. Right now we're yeah. in a hurry. Right now we're on the clock, but... Right, two empathy towards Kim, plus one SP to court. Roots of the LCM. Alrighty. Hey. Tight. Are we here? Hmm? No. Great. Um... Fridge, the processing. I forgot there were checks on the ledger that we hadn't done. Yeah. Alright, let's get going. So, yeah, so we can ask Kuno. We're not asking Kuno. If uh, all else but you fails. Know Kuno's got the shit. Kuno knows what's up. He doesn't. He does not. Kuno's got his mind in the streets. He knows how the people act, how what the people do, and where they are. All right. Hi, mate. I'm borrow your fridge. Can I help you? I seem to be in need of a fridge. Yes, yes. For the dead body. You want to put a dead corpse into my fridge, right? Why, you're so smart. Correct. <laughs> 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 
What do you mean correct him? He's right. Very important dead body. I don't care. You're not putting a dead body into my fridge. I'm not even going to ask why. You're just going to say something mean. This is a culinary establishment, not a morgue. You don't have to ask me why you can't store a dead body in my kitchen. It would only be for him. Lieutenant, you too? You're asking too? No, the answer is no. I will not turn this place into some kind of macabre circus. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Frit clerk. All right, goodbye. Here's your trash container key. Wait, but the trash container he key... He can go fuck himself with his trash container key. It's not giving us the fridge. Okay, hold on. How would you feel if you were staying in a place and the <laughs> fridge they used to store food had a corpse in it? Listen, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit how he feels. That's a fucking health hazard. He's mean. He's just doing his job. He, he's mean. Hey, where's the well, fucking store? Up the street. Up. Okay. Oh. No, not this direction. Yeah, I had a thought. Oh, oh they're playing bull. Nice. This shit's great. Yeah. Good game. Yeah. I don't know how to play bull. Um. What are you? What excuse are you doing? me. Could you pathfinding? There we go. Okay. You I clicked once on the top right of the screen, and that's what oh. happened. How do you play wool? Uh, you throw down a, a, a tiny ball, and then you throw bigger balls, and you try to get as close to it as possible. The big ball, they're like quite heavy. Uh, the proper ones are made of metal. The cheap ones are like plastic with sand in it or whatever. Oh. Yeah, it's something old, old men play. It's very fun. It's really neat. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Learn something every day. Yeah. We have a little little bull court outside my my dad's apartment. Oh, that's cool. It's just like a little s sand rectangle. It's pretty cool. Hey, old frit lady. Hello, frit lady. Yellow roses, dozens of tulips too. Oh. Melancholy pop song. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. Interesting. They all bear the Saint-Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint-Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Alright. We really don't have the money to spare right no, now. No, we super don't, but... It's Saint Baptiste. Saint Baptiste. You know, the pharmaceuticals company. Oh yeah, you're right. Saint Baptiste Pharmaceuticals. She is right. Never mind. Saint Baptiste, the company derives its name from Saint Baptiste, the city. Itself so named because that's what it is. A rare case where that really is the full etymological history. As far as almost anyone knows. I'm bad with names. Saint Baptiste. Oh, so you need to heal up. You, you, you have a healing item that you can use. Yeah, I do. Okay. Alright, I'll come back in, just in cases. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says one bottle, one bottle equals ten cents. What's this? Hmm? Oh, that's the tear machine. Yes, but what is it? It's a machine for tear, you know. You find tear outside, like bottles or whatever. Oh, is that what that's called? Cool. Then it gives you money. Yeah. yeah. 
Excellent. Okay. Nice. I know what this is. I'm Scandinavian. We have these. You need a bag, I guess. We, we, we used to have, have to give some, to the cashier. We gave them all out. Oh, really? So. Like, we don't have machines. Yeah. Oh. You, you, give, you give it to the person at the register and they give you the money. Oh, interesting. But yeah, we have these, like, so at least it used to a, be. A, a machine where you just stick in bottles and cans and stuff and you get mm. good money for Feel a, free to a use it receipt. if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some out there somewhere. She's very well voice acted, I must say. Yeah. Is it the like, bridge? I really Voice like these like packaged super minor NPCs beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. They're the very, very, very much just like a person instead of like Flitter slogan on the back. Because like Kuno's a character, like he's oh yeah, he's got a lot to him. But this is like just shop clerk. Of they're very well voice acted to be just like. Fucking nothing. They're just like working a job. They're probably just, bored of it. They're just yeah. here. They're just they couldn't give a fuck. Forced to wear the silly fucking hat. Yeah. For, yeah. Exactly. Well, should I, should I ask about the fridge? Discreet, sloppily yeah, stacked, I'll making I'll them easier to take or notice. No need to worry about knocking over a display. We really don't have the money to spare. No. A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. Mm. The bottles wink at you in the light. The smokes too glitter in their I've wrapping. Got the power of nicotine. It's like looking into a kind of heaven. Your knees are weak. Okay, let's be real. The detective should never touch neither alcohol or cigarettes or drugs ever again in his life. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> like, holy shit. It's looking like it. If the... It's like looking into a kind of heaven. <laughs> there, in that Ooh. dark green glass. Oh boy. All in vain. The great not right river now. of warmth. Wine, alcohol, beer, not alcohol, right now. love, alcohol. Not right now. Hello, ma'am. I need to put a to corpse Frick. in your fridge. To look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? I don't care. Conceptualization. I really like this. That your 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 thoughts and your party members are just like fucking annoying dicks. Like, like, I need to ask them about this. I was like, hey, what's she doing? What's that? What's that right there? Hold on, look. No, 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 look at that. Look at that thing. <laughs> Mm. Alcohol. Hey, hey, you should get some alcohol. <laughs> um, hey, you should you should lick that alcohol off the counter. You I haven't should. been there too long. Let's proceed. I have some questions for you. Um. Okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but. Do you have a fridge? Do you have a fridge? Mm -hmm. Right behind you. I just a corpse there. I just a corpse there. Um, you're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. I just tore the corpse of the hanged man in your fridge. Um, okay. It wouldn't even fit, you know. Now that I'm looking at it. Maybe a glass door fridge in a public grocery store isn't the best option for storing a corpse. I guess you're right. It's too small anyway. Okay. Does okay. Frit have a warehouse in the back of the whirling in rags? A warehouse? I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what Frit does. Well, you're wearing their fucking hat. How about you answer? <laughs> Give me the information I need. 
It's important. She scrunches up her face into an expression of consummate adolescent skepticism. Fine. Frit doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay? What can you tell me about dead bodies? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Hey, thanks for your help. Alright, thank uh -huh. you. Very useful. Let's go. Alright. School no time! Yes? Oops. Alright, let's go. Let's go mess with powers beyond us. Talk to the Kuno. Talk to the Kuno. You motherfucker. The Kuno has the answers you see. Well, he has, he has something. Hey there, Kuno. How you doing, buddy? Fuck, does Kuno care? Kuno, I fridge. need a fridge to stash the body. For the fucking... Good thing you asked the Kunmeister. Kuno knows a fridge. Don't... Perfect for freezing... The Kunmeister doesn't work. Kunmeister. I thought you would. Where is it? Bacon man's in a rush. But what's in it for the Kuno? What's the return on Kuno's investment? For three yards? Do you have civic it? pride? Kuno's got everything Kuno needs, all civics and shit. He doesn't know what that means. Talking about civics and shit didn't make this any easier. Kuno, pig! Kuno's already got everything! Oh. I'll repay Do for you this. really want to be in Kuno's dead? Oh, I don't know, I don't! But, what the fuck? I need the corpse info! I need it! You do need the corpse info. Well, what? We'll be in Kuno's debt, but we do need to store the corpse. Time, sir. I'll repay you for this information one day. Right now, the clock is ticking. Kuno's clock's not doing shit. Kuno's got a fuckload of time. Oh, you little fucking There's nothing on his wrist. Bitch. Don't believe him, Kuno. He just wants to use your fridge. Well, we're back to an even chance. Neutral. Alright. Thanks. It's a 58% shot. It's above average. Do it. By killing yes. in his territory, someone has openly challenged Kuno. It's in his best interest to put Success. them in their place. Hell yeah, rhetoric. Some arrogant shit thinks he's in k killing the Kuno's kingdom without asking the Kuno first? That sounds like lawlessness to me. A dark flame smolders in Kuno's eyes as he ponders your argument. Wordless. Like kings do. Like kings do. This outlaw's fate is in your hands. Let's make an example of him. Help me locate him using fridge body technology. Alright, Kuno is yet. See that shit house over there? Yeah. The cold comes over you as you glance behind him at the crumbling colossus there, casting a shadow on you. I see a big tall one behind you. You gotta get in that shit. In there, deep. How do I get in the building? Through the bookstore. You gotta beg the book bitch. Used to be you could get in there through the doorbell, jam that shit. Book bitch changed that. Kuro doesn't beg. So Kuno doesn't go there anymore. Hmm. Yeah, book bitch, beggar. You stupid or something? 
Maybe. He means the bookstore. We have to ask. Plaisance is the mother of the little girl peddling books on the plaza. We have to ask Plaisance in the store. Impressive note keeping, Lieutenant. See, the client gets it. Listen to your four eyed friend. Check the fucking basement, pig. Don't you know anything? <sighs> Always check the fucking basement, recon style. There's a giant bridge down there. Fucking will fit, no problem. It looks like a white bear or some shit. Try not to piss yourself when you see it. Mm. Kitty, why are you so screaming? Okay. A white bear? A polar bear? A polar bear. You didn't hear it from Kuno, pig. But don't forget where you heard it from. Kuno owns you now, pig. You're Kuno's property. Kuno doesn't fuck. There we go. All right. Hello, book child. I need to ask your book mother about some book business. Through the display. Kind of on a tight schedule. Oh, fuck your Fucking ass. reading books. I want to read some books. Hey, book, book bitch. I mean, um, Welcome Plaisance. Welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. You fuck. My name is Plaisance. You've got a corpse rotting Welcome. and you're trying to go Thank read some books? I want to read a book, Hyundal. energy you bring into this space. Excuse me, I'm gonna give the cat some more treats to make her shut up for a little while. Here you go, I'll give you candy. Kissy candy. Can you give me some money? No, are you the owner of the store? The proudest owner of our little shop of culture. I was told there's a huge fridge in the building cellar. Can you leave me there? A fridge? No, I don't know anything about a fridge. Aren't you interested in books? For whatever reason, she's lying to you about the fridge. Seems like you have to find your own way to the cellar. Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? Yes, of course. Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Yes. Great. On a scale of one to ten, how <gasps> compelled were you, you to buy books after talking with her? I fucking hate this lady. I'm not gonna grade a human being. Come on now. Come now. It's not personal. It's about proper sales practices and market research. I expect Don't an you answer. Bitch. Sure. Ten. She did a great job. My precious. Her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. I'm here to dismantle the free market and abolish child labour. You must be kidding. There's nothing like that happening. Depends. How much do you pay her? Good, sir. 
What does a young child do with money anyway? No, I save it for her, as a fund. She's securing her financial future out there. Such criminal behavior would not happen in more developed countries. In some more developed countries, this sort of thing is two felonies. Child labor and slavery. Those countries will realize they've raised a lazy and spoiled generation. Oh, I want to kill her. Oh, I want to kill her more than Kuro no. suddenly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's hey, a Kim, wolf. give me the gun back. Kim, need a gun again. Why? I'll just hold on to it for now. But, you know, if, yes, if these kind of situations come up. Right. The woman okay. before you scans the store. Farewell, book bitch. I'm gonna snoop. You Check see your a set the way. of tattered curtains hmm? blocking the way to another room. A message. strange cage-like ah. trinket dangles from the curtains. Yeah, my this my Discord is a fucking streamer mode. Um, um. <laughs> that's all good. Um, let's see, what's the clock at? What's the clock at? The clock is at zero seven. Let's see, like fifteen minutes. How long? Fifteen minutes? Twenty minutes? Oh, I'm gonna say right now the part you're about to get into is like an hour and a half. Oh fuck. Okay. Like, there's no good ending points there until like the very end of it. Let's see, can I at any point save my game? I mean I mean like you can save after you do this thing, just the part the thing we're about to do, like is a thing that's gonna take a while when we Okay, let's get just into let's it. just go till we hit a scene transition. Yeah. And then we'll save and quit. All okay, because right. we've been at this for like we over have. Three hours I also need to get food. It is, it is a yeah, good point. Um, um, all right, this tattered curtains. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Yeah, fuck off. Just as you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice of the shop owner cries out once more. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's off limits for the customers. Parapsychologically speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be held responsible for the consequences. Parapsychologically speaking, is she gonna fucking mind blast me? <laughs> Maybe. She's like, oh, yeah. then I'll summon the ghosts. You she don't know that you couldn't. Mumbling. Why is everyone always messing with the curtains? Why can't they just buy books like normal people? Is it about the curse? So, oh, is this about the curse? No, it's just a storeroom for the employees, I told you. Now please step away from the curtains. I must investigate beyond the threshold. <laughs> That's really good, actually. You do? <laughs> My god, even more reasons not to mess with the curtains. Just step away, dear sir. I heard there's a fridge. Everybody suddenly needs something from there. Leave the curtains be. It's what it wants. All right. You know what? I'll open them. I'm a cop. No. Please just talk to me, officer. Come here and let's talk this through before you decide to do anything extreme. Talking is always good. Go see what she has to say. You see a tattered set of curtains and a polyhedron-shaped cage-like We don't trinket. have time for your ghost shit, you crazy woman. Yeah, but what if you play long? What if you pretend to be a... paranormal investigator? I'm a ghost cop. You're a ghost cop? Huh? Hello, ma'am. Huh? I'm secretly a ghost cop. Can you let me? <laughs> Hello again, esteemed officer, and welcome to crime, romance, 
I don't I already care. told you. It's just a storage room for employees. I don't understand why it's so important to you. Well. Just let it go, officer. Go buy some goddamn books. You're supposed to be drawn to the books. She's so tense. It's a miracle she hasn't snapped in half yet. It's not like it's cursed, right? <laughs> no! Okay, fine. It's just because this place is cursed. Just like everyone said. They don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. Do they? Are you happy now, officer? Happy that you've ruined everything? Oh, I'm so happy, mate. Host of hosts, she prays. Guard me and my honest business venture from the curse that lurks behind the curtains. Have you, have you sought help for your curse? Yes. I've contacted numerous parapsychologists and even a pair of Simonese mediators. They provided me with the wards. The wards help to keep the doom at bay and protect us against the darkness that lies further in the building. Even though now I fear, it's not enough. Is your pendant part of the wards? Oh, this! No, it's a special Hymian amulet, blessed by desert pygmy shamans with a spell of compulsion. It's to compel people to buy books. There are numerous spells cast throughout the store. I had the books anointed with a different inducement spell, for example. Oh. It's guaranteed to boost so she is 15%. completely out of her mind. Desert pygmy shamans. That sounds like a rather questionable way to describe yeah, a of people. Yeah, that's... I mean, there is some good to be found in the fact that the the people she's being racist toward probably scammed the ever-loving fuck out of her and got a lot of money from mm -hmm. her, which is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but... Uh, how does this curse manifest itself? The curse is so much worse than you could imagine. It's a disease eating at the very foundation. Oh. It's the curse of financial distress, of ruin and bankruptcy. Ah. See, I really don't want to bring the kid into it. I really don't want to bring the kid into it because I feel bad for the kid. What does that mean? Everyone knows that all the previous companies in this building have sooner or later declared bankruptcy and their malicious spirits are still here, feeding off bad business practices and disappointing income statements. There's something uh -huh. wrong with this building, oh. I can tell you. Ever since I arrived, so I've sensed right an away, eerie lingering presence, as if I was it? unwanted here. Oh, would you like me to take the case? I'm a ghost cop. Most certainly not. A ghost cop. I don't want anyone who's not familiar with the psychic arts to get involved in this mess. Stay away. Leave the spirits be so they can return to their slumber. My liege, you know what this case calls for? A para detective. Um, You got a pretty good chance of doing that. We got a pretty that. good chance. We got plus one. Come on. Do the Slither thing. up to her. Yeah. You silver-tongued fiend. Show her what world-class perfidy looks like. Ma'am, I came here to help. I've handled paranormal situations before. Are you sure? I don't think I haven't seen charlatans before. I returned, returned from the void. void. A paradetective oh. from a long line of paradetectives. You're no paradetective. You look nothing like one. And you're clearly a drinker. Pardon me for being so blunt, but... You look like one. 
That's fair. The lieutenant keeps his usual stony calm. He silently picks out his notebook. Go ahead then. Rock her world, he thinks. I'll compose some notes. I admit, I've had my share of drinks, but only because the spectral realm is parapsychologically taxing. So, you see, it's necessary to bring the spirits in order to contact the body. I think going with the one that's a pun is the worst option. Yeah. How do you know all this? Ghost cop. Here we go. I am the Void um, Revenant. I have the power to de-bad all the bad energies. I should have realized a pattern lies within the fabric. The hand of fate guides us. Our meeting couldn't have been mere chance. But I am not the only one at risk. I have to think of my daughter. You are certain you can help us? Keep us safe? I can't allow any collateral damage to hit us. Do we get Kim in on the scam? Hmm. Hmm. The Phantoms are no match for me. Oh, just ask my partner Kim. You're match for me. But to be fair, we're the power detective here. Yeah, that's too far. If you promise, good officer, then you might be our last hope. Do you swear it? On my honor. Thank you, sir. There's one more thing I haven't told you about yet. The entity. Oh. Do not act surprised. You know of these things, sire. Of course. The entity. For I have sensed its presence. You have? The entity takes the form of a woman, a witch, probably. I've suspected that she must be connected to the curse ever since I first saw her. Did you know that she lives inside the chimney? Hmm, a passage between heaven and hell. Yes, that chimney is part of the building's central furnace, and it's enormous. She has barricaded herself behind some metal security curtains. God knows what she's doing there. Hmm. Some unnatural magic, I assume. You should go find the entity and ask what happened to all the companies in the building. What is the source of this curse? Here's the key to the warded door behind the curtains. Take it. All right. Oh, well, thank you. Please do Here return to me after you've looked round. I'm quite anxious, anxious to know what she has to say anxious. about the curse. What you discover in there. Unbelievable <laughs> darkness and ruin. Hell yeah. What you discover? Probably just office space and the damn fridge. Farewell Don't for now, scare. book peddler. Should we talk to her about that, though? I feel like After if... After we put the body in? Maybe? Maybe. I feel like if we bring the kid... I, I don't want to get the kid in trouble. I feel really bad for, for Annette. Here's the thing. We've proven that we're pretty good at manipulating people. Yeah. So even so, we can probably we. If there's one thing we can do, it's make sure that all the blame falls onto us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's probably fair. But let's do that next time, because it's getting light. And this has been, this been a hell of a sesh. It's three fucking three and a half hours. Oh. Four. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'm gonna we're gonna go get food. Um Yeah. Hey, a proper we'll episode see. ending for once. It's been like six episodes at this point, maybe? Yeah. I don't know when these are gonna come out. Next time we're gonna have paranatural investigation. Hell yeah. We'll see you then. Bye bye. Supernatural cop. Bye bye.